We're also tracking retail sales out this morning. Retail sales remaining unchanged in September, missing economists' forecasts of a 0.2% rise here. And so with regard to all of the different data that's come out on the front of retail more broadly or the prices that consumers are paying here and trying to get an answer to the question of whether or not inflation has peaked and where consumers are still having to buy in and in certain categories. Necessities, that's still remaining strong and rightly so, but it's really some of the discretionary areas that we have to keep a close eye on, especially going into the holiday season, to see where there might be that pullback in consumer sentiment or spending propensity within those particular uh, parts of the industry as well, Saz. Guys, I wish you could see my, my notepad. I, I have so many notes uh, this morning, it's crazy. But I think that the, one of them that really ties everything together, the bank earnings and retail sales, again, this is really now we're getting new evidence of how the, uh, how the Fed is starting to impact this economy. And it looks like, I mean, it really is starting to happen in a big way. Zoom into this retail sales report. You see weakness in furniture sales. You see weakness in auto sales, like we just mentioned uh, over to Wells Fargo uh, in their most recent quarter. These are big ticket purchases that tend to go on credit cards uh, by and large, You're not necessarily going into a furniture store and plopping down $10,000 to go buy a couple new couches and a recliner. So the cost of buying these items is going up significantly and it looks like consumers just say, you know what? I'm just not buying this stuff for whatever reason. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe last year I would have went out and bought it because financing costs were cheaper, but this is a big problem. And it's going to be a big problem for, for retailers and this economy moving forward. And now you un better understand, I would argue, while the micro market continues to be in a very just in a bear market, continues to be under significant pressures because of stats and real-time things that are happening to consumers, just like we saw in this retail sales report. Yeah, and I want to marry that as well, Saz, to some of the bank earnings that we were talking about, because Jane Frazier, city CEO, actually outlined and talked about the personal banking side, and specifically within that, the card spending, saying that U.S. personal banking further solidified its growth trajectory, double-digit revenue growth in both of their cards' businesses. And what that should signify, especially with the correlation of how consumers are spending, is that they are leaning further into some of their card spending right now to try and figure out, okay, how do we then make sure that our cash pile, if we do have a strong balance sheet or just trying to solidify our balance sheets at home, that we still have cash that we can lean on to uh, in the event of an emergency, in the event of some other circumstance. And, and just wanted to mention, by the way, if you exclude motor vehicles, parts, and gas, the number actually saw more of an acceleration. So that's just mm. something to point out here, if you look at the so-called control group, it saw four tenths of a percent advance, which is better than estimated. And there were revisions higher for the prior month. So this is not all bad news here within this. And you did see increases in areas such as non-store retailers, i.e. e-commerce department store sales up 1.3%, mm -hmm. right? Where did that come from? I don't know, but yes, there were some areas of increase. So just to, to make not that Not coming point. from Kohl's, Julie, not coming from Kohl's. <laughs> Well, it's coming from somewhere, obviously, Talk because about Macy's. Macy's. You know, I, I don't know, but um, we don't get that that granularity here. But just <laughs> wanted to put a fine point, though, on as we get this data that does show, OK, we've got hot inflation. OK, we've got retail sales that are moderating in some areas. The market has just been going crazy, for lack of a better term here, or just really having these wild, volatile swings on a day-to-day -day basis. And again, to come back to what we saw yesterday, take a look here at the Wi-Fi Interactive, which I have pulled up, and just that enormous swing. The Dow, really the prime example of this, opening up sharply lower yesterday, down by 500 points here after we got that CPI that came in hotter than estimated, showing that the Fed and cementing the base case among Wall Street that the Fed is going to raise 75 basis points and then somehow coming back by day's end. Are things oversold? Had the stocks priced in the scenario for the Fed uh, being super aggressive? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, that. It, who knows if it was a fundamental move that we saw yesterday in markets or if it was merely a snapback. And there are all the groups in the S&P 500 that we saw yesterday with financials leading the gains, which maybe also was some, you know, preliminary buying ahead of today's numbers. But it's still a confusing move to me. 
You know, there's a lot to take away, though, from even the early earnings that we've received this week, whether that's Delta and the demand that they're seeing. That demand is different than some other businesses would be seeing because as they were lining up and Ed Bastian telling us that it's counter cyclical, the airlines recovery right now versus some other parts of consumer spending. And then you get even more of the consumer data. Sure, a lag on the economic data, but then also a little bit forward looking in what we can actually extrapolate from some of these bank earnings as well whether that's most, uh, the, the most credit-touching banks or whether that's the banks that are giving out home loans or auto loans. And that really gives us even more of the insight into how different companies are going to be interfacing with consumers even throughout this potential recession and what that may look like as the consumers are looking to kind of shore up their own confidence as well leading into that.